Lucrecio on the mic, coming through with some more advanced Rob tips. This time, we are covering the general concept of mostly 50-50 scenarios, which all characters can set up, but tailoring it to Rob, and advancing the best ways to deal with them. Well, this should be damage for sure. Oh, he called out the double jump! So smart from Lucrecio. By 50-50 scenarios, I'm describing the situation where your opponent generally has two options, usually to go high or to go low, and you must make a read on one of the two situations. Whilst this is guesswork, there are ways to make educated guesses to be likely to cover the correct one. Your understanding of character recovery helps to make educated guesses. Take Roy for example, most often they do not recover high with their up B, so covering low could be a good guess. What makes this even better is that you can pretend to cover high by going high and then just fast falling with them. So you understand 50-50 scenarios. Now I'm going to talk about some of the ways that you can set them up and cover the high or low options. There are so so many different ways so please bear with me as I try to explain. When you land a jab or down tilt lock on an opponent and you choose not to forward smash, you can instead use a dash attack to set up the 50-50 scenario. Can you guess high or low? Please understand, you have to make your guess of high or low before the dash attack even hits, otherwise you will be too slow on covering the option. I did say this is guesswork. Gyro shot, more so than gyro toss, is a very good non-committal option for specifically covering opponents who go low. It also helps that gyro hits generally true confirm into laser too. Side B is extremely versatile in the sense that it can be used to both set up the 50-50 scenario and be used to cover high or low after the first side B hits. However, it is high committal. Can you guess high or low? Once again, the decision for high or low should have been made before the first side B had even finished hitting your opponent. This is my most favourite technique to cover high. The B reverse, gyro charge, double jump, back air. This is done as a method to quickly cover jump with a strong back air. This next clip is darkened because the streamer went away and the backlight dimmed. I tried to edit it slightly to make it a bit more viewable. Side B is used to set up the 50-50 scenario and I covered high by jumping and B reversing my gyro charge to turn me around and then jump cancelling my gyro charge into a back air in quick succession. The crash combo or Grace closes one out for B2. 2 0 lead and reset. Oh, Lucretia with the movement reads, what the hell? What is going on? Lucretia, you animal. <gasps> so close. There are no real ways of practicing all of these 50-50s without just trying to go for it in real matches. Understand that you can and will at times guess completely wrong multiple times within a set, a game, or even within the same stock. Hell, you might even guess right and still not get a punish. Though, just keep trying and it will pay off eventually. So, is that it? We can set up 50-50s with back throws, jab locks and side Bs. We can cover high with jump side Bs and gyro charge jump cancelled back airs. And we can cover low with side B, gyros and down airs. 
What else is there? Robo Burner Boosting Turnaround burner boosts are super efficient at covering jump or high options with back air, especially as opponents are usually not ready for Rob to fly at them so quickly. Additionally, if you don't happen to land a strong back air and instead hit a weak one, at least your opponent's jump is gone and you have options to cover their recoveries with laser or gyro projectile shots. Even if your opponent doesn't go high, the pushback from back air might still set you up to cover low with a down air. And now that's about all I have to say for Rob's 50-50 scenario. Remember that these are mostly 50-50s as some characters have the ability to sort of go middle like Fox and Falco side B. In any case, I hope this video has been of some use to you. Please share this around to raise awareness on these kind of things which should be known already. Let's deepen the meta game continuously and never stop grinding. Also, if you haven't already, check out some of my other Rob videos on my channel. Join me again soon, where I'll attempt to explain a simple universal technique in the form of platform drop aerials to add that little bit more variety to Rob's gameplay.